Okay then, so, I've decided we are going to sequence break. Stuff it. This is for mages. This will work for anybody else though. We're gonna, we're gonna sequence break and we're gonna attempt to grab um, a talisman that is gonna give us a significant damage boost as well as um, some other stuff. For that, we're gonna need to get something called the Dectus Medallion. The first part is actually just right here in Fort Height. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grab that right now. This technically could be a little bit hard so if it does end up that way, I'll leave a, uh, a pinned comment just to say, maybe leave what we're about to do for a little bit later. But for now, it shouldn't be too big of a too big of an issue for us. We've had a couple of levels, so it shouldn't be too bad. So the Dectus Medallion that we want is going to be inside of this castle now. I suppose we could clear it out. I can't remember exactly if there's anything particularly amazing in here. We've already got the... Oh, they've added being able to summon here. I don't think that was here before. Interesting. People must have been dying here a lot. As you can see, we just kind of jumped around this guy. We're not going to follow it right now. Um, what I recommend doing, actually, is just running past all of this. Try not to be too close to that when they're throwing bombs at you. But other than that, we're going to be we're going to be good. You haven't aggroed. That's real weird. Is that because I'm in light gear? Maybe these guys don't know where I am so easily. What I recommend doing is just coming on all the way up to the top, as you can see, and we're going to go ahead and climb this ladder. That's going to give us a significant advantage over particularly this guy. And what we can actually do at the top, which is real cheeky, because this guy's a little bit close to me, really. Um, we can go ahead and quit out of the game and then reload it, and that's going to reset all of the enemies. It's a bit of a trick I like to use sometimes. But it just means that we don't have to worry about stuff chasing us when we are trying to deal with getting stuff. So the most important thing to grab from here right now is going to be this. Now, that knight that was following us up, that knight is um, for Mr. Height. That is his quest that he was giving to us. Um, and the reason I mainly like trying to reset everything is because it'll mean that we don't have tons of enemies aggroed on us at once, although you have still aggroed on me, which is kind of annoying. Can we get to you, at least? No. Oh, well. We've got wolves, anyway. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to summon them in here, and we're going to deal with this guy. So apparently the wolves have decided he's more important. Come here, you. Let's take advantage of our uh, rapier here. Wolves, I need you all now. Here we go. Right, so as you can see, he's quite dangerous. Oh, now we're going to get real stuffed. Come here, wolves, come here. Whoa. Okay then, we're going to go with the plan B. Because we could summon the wolves earlier, they should teleport to us look like this. And we're just going to run straight at the guy and get them to aggro on him. Because that's what we really need here. We're going to get out of his way. As you can see, we can pick our runes up here. Hopefully I haven't made a big mistake and tried to come here too early. Which is entirely probable. Um, my wolves are not helping. Come here. Wolves, what are you doing? There we go. Better. Aggro on this guy. Yeah, there we go. That's what we want. Once they've got him trapped, it's pretty much it's pretty good. Knocked one down. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Let's get behind him. There we are. Wasn't too bad in the end. Deaths happen in this game. Sometimes things just do not go to plan. That is not a problem. There's never a point in getting angry at it either. Right. Let's go ahead and deal with the rest of this now. We can clear the rest of the castle out. So we might as well. Really need a little bit more damage. I'd love to be one-shotting these. Although, trying to one-shot enemies all the way through the game is really not going to happen very often. Let's go get that loot up there before we, before we head on out of the castle. I'm sorry if this ends up being a little bit disorganised. My mind can be all over the place, but we will get everything. Right, there we go. Smithing stone. That means we can actually upgrade the rapier, which is nice. Note that we're not going to upgrade a staff for a long time. This is because beings are in the market for secret sequence breaking right now. We are going to go ahead and grab a different staff rather shortly. And that doesn't get upgraded at all, so um, it'll be good for us for a while. Um, and just kind of means we won't need to use any smithing stones on it. So we are pretty much free to upgrade the rapier at this point. Oh my god, we're going to go for a second death here. In the same video. 
I've really got to keep out of melee range. This was the whole point of me doing this build. Oops. And it's looking tougher than I thought so far. Which is going to be fun. Anything else good here? We've got some roses. Got some of these. Always get the smoldering butterflies. They're just useful. I may have to make some, like, um, pots or something. We already got... Did we get this? Nope, that's the Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 6. Uh, so if you ever want to know what they allow you to do, if you come into your inventory here, and come over to your key items, you can go here, look, so we can see this is going to allow us to make blood grease, drawstring, blood grease, blood bone arrows. This is all bleed effects, so that's quite nice if you are running that kind of build, or want to run that kind of build, but don't have the stats for it yet. Something that you can add to it. We can deal with Onion Boy if you want to. Um, there's no more loot around here, but he is free extra runes. So I'm going to kill him, but I'll do it off screen. Okay then, with Onion head down. It's a few extra runes for us. And we have the half of the Dectus Medallion that we wanted. And in addition to that, we have also completed um, Mr. Height's quest. So we might as well get those turned in. So being as we were at this end anyway, we're just going to pass on over. All right, it should be to the west. These are called trolls. I always end up calling them giants. I apologize for that. Giants are a different thing. They're kind of clad in armor. Interesting they let us summon for this guy. Um, I really don't think he's that bad. If you're fighting, like, being as you can bring the wolves out, you can really have an easy time with that guy if you want to. Some extra runes for you. We're just going to head on over to Mr. Height. Where are you, good sir? Let's get on up. Thank you very much for that. We should pr oh, we should probably get a decent summon before I do what I'm going to do. Mm, okay. Uh, so next up then, we can do something a little bit cheeky here. And we can go back to the Church of America. There's a little entrance on the back end of here, which is going to allow us to get an extra seed. And I just feel like that's going to be a good idea. So I'm going to fast travel back and meet you guys over there. So once you're at the church, we can pretty much just go straight through the back of it. Left a bit. Didn't realise there was a beach there. Eh. Never looked around on that beach. I might have to do that in a break. In any case, down here we'll have our little teleporter that we're going to use. This is going to take us to a brand new zone. Um, but we're not really going to intend to fight much here. We don't have a bleed weapon yet. There is a trick here where you can get a lot of runes. Unless it's been fixed. The game got patched today. Was it yesterday? So we need to just be aware of that. We're going to open this door and grab the grace. We're not going to touch that thing yet. It is way out of our league, but we are going to run past it. But there's a lot of stuff that's out of our league. And yet, the item we're going to get is uh, entirely easy to get. So once we've got the grace, we can just leave now. This NPC, we're going to feed him um, a key item called uh, Deathroot. And so, uh, just... Bear him in the back of your mind when we when we begin moving forward. And there is a dagger um, if you do like a drop off down over that way. Um, but realistically it's only good for a specific type of incantation. And I'm going to leave that for now because it's just not useful to this character. Or most characters for quite a while. So we're just going to run down the side here so we don't aggro Mr. Uh, Big Wings. And very shortly as we go down here we'll see a, uh, a golden tree. And there will also be a grace down here. So we're going to pick up both of those. It's not aggro, is it? I heard something moving towards me. Glad it hasn't. Almost missed the tree, though. Let's grab that. Careful of all these little guys. They are not the worst. Like We could probably beat them. They do give good runes, but they also all generally cause bleed. So they can uh, make a mess of you if you're not careful. There's a lot of bleed in this game, so just bear in mind of that. I think they call the, the state's effect hemorrhage, but... Bleed just uh, just fits better in my mind. So we're going to grab this. We could get a memory slot while we're here as well. So memory slots allow us to equip extra spells. So I could show that. But we don't have the map yet. Let's not, let's not mess around. Let's get the map first. So, especially while this dragon's facing the other way, this is going to be a safer run than it deserves to be, realistically speaking. We're just going to literally run past this dragon. Um, you can basically go straight under its legs if you want to. Um, especially if it decides to breathe fire. That's just basically a free... 
free get out of jail card. Look, it's gonna like do what it's doing. If it breathes fire this way, this could be dangerous, but it really doesn't catch you up or anything. It's not gonna chase us anyway. It's just a dragon on a bridge. It's fine. In addition to that, then next up down here, we'll have a uh, a tree guardian. It's gonna be first time seeing one of these. If you're following the guide as well, we're not gonna be fighting that either. We're just gonna go off, go on off our, our own way to the next Greece. We'll be getting a map fragment fairly soon, um, and this is going to give us access to a talisman that I want for this build, and the earlier we get it, the better, because we're going kind of low health, and um, realistically speaking, I don't want to be taking too much damage. This is going to give us 10% more damage, as long as we have full health. And as far as I'm aware, it's the earliest instance of being able to get a talisman like this. It's probably a little bit naughty, because I don't think you're supposed to have it this early, but it should be pretty fun to have nonetheless. I really need to get some... <laughs> I probably need to get some armor on that I can actually fill all of the slots. So for those that don't know, um, there's always a multiplier on these games, so if you don't fill all of the slots, you'll take just naturally more damage. I can actually fit the helmet on. Yes! But I can't fit any feet. I can't fit the feet on, or the gloves. Do I want to look like Little Miss, Gr little Miss Grey Hood? I don't think I do. Can I fit the yeah, I can fit them gloves on there. There we go, that's a little bit better. That might have saved me a death. Um, so we've got this grace. As we can see, look, we have map fragment just over the way now if we follow the road down. So we might as well grab that whilst we are here. We're obviously not going to clear this area of enemies right now because it is full of, um, I guess you'd say lesser dragons. These ones don't drop the same kind of rewards. The big dragons that don't respawn all give you dragon hearts and unlock special abilities, but we'll go over those as we get them. Unfortunately, this character is not going to be able to use them because they are, generally speaking, incantations. In fact, I think they're all incantations. Um, they require a mixture of uh, faith and arcane to use, so just not going to be something that we can we can have. So here we are. We've arrived. We've got the Dragon Barrow map. Kind of tells you guys what the name of this area is. And we're going to swing us south, um, and we're going to try and drop off. Where are we? Is this... No. Oh, that worked better than I thought it would. Uh, and I always like to head for this wall here because that kind of guides us to where I want to go. Which is going to get us the other half of the Dectus Medallion. Which is just going to be this way. Just going to move all the way. I'm going to keep it all in. I'm going to not I'm not going to put any cuts in here, even if I happen to go quiet. Um, I know there are some people that prefer like cuts and fast forwards and stuff. For you, there are there is a cog icon at the bottom of the YouTube videos. You can speed this up as much as you like. Um, those that you know kind of prefer to, to ride and play along you can follow along much easier this way um, and that is basically the consensus of all the comments I've had across all of the guides so that's how it's staying so come behind big dragon here um, that dragon is killable and you could stand there and poke it for like half an hour with your rapier if you wish to and get yourself around 80,000 runes that is going to be worth a good amount of levels to you but I have a better recommendation so don't do that yet we need a bleed weapon first, though. We're probably going to get the Tanto pretty shortly. Before we can uh, before we can play with that. So we've got two points we can use. Um, I kind of want to go with these two, even though that's not very mage-like right now. That's what I'm going to go with. We could obviously get another flask, because we have enough now. But before we start dealing with that, we're just going to go ahead and sort this part out. So the enemies in here are, again, quite high level. So we're not going to stop to fight any of them. We are just going to make a run straight through here. Oh, I've just realized I haven't even got you guys the lantern yet. I'm going to make a little video for how to get the lantern directly after this because I should have done that and I've just dropped off on the wrong side of the wall. <laughs> what a fool. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, that's where everyone quits now. It's it. I'm not following this guy. He's an amateur. I play like an amateur, but I promise you I'm not. Um, so we're just going to head on in here. You can see we've got the bats on the top there. These are much higher level than, than the usual ones you'll have faced already. So we're just going to literally run straight on through here. And there's one over this way that kind of sings. You really don't want to mess with that one right now. Um, but it probably is going to poison me, so we just need to get up this ladder straight away. You can see it's just literally go straight through. Straight on through. It's not even breathed its poison out of me. I've been pretty lucky here. I'm sorry if you guys get poisoned on the way up. It's just something that can happen occasionally. But the bats, they can't fly directly upwards because... Well, because... And there we go. Boom. Dexter's Battalion. Now, <laughs> I suppose... We could be cheeky and grab the last good piece of loot here. There are only two reason, two things to come here for. The Dexter's Medallion 
and there is in fact a source seal here which is um, a an item that will give you bonus stats um, at the expense of taking more damage and is trophy related so I figure we might as well actually get that whilst we're here and we just need to come over you see the second drop off down there we're going to go down this one where the ladder is we go down real quick because there are going to be a load of phantom kind of enemies that want to, that want to start spawning in on us and they'll chase us here if we're not careful oh my god the rat nearly one shot me <laughs> i forgot all about you we really i really can't do anything to them this is crazy damn rat leave me alone there we go so you can see how kind of how perilous this area is now so if i fail at this i apologize um we can always come back later for this bit of a trick here then so i'm gonna go somewhere a little bit safer while i say this i'll do this if you hold your sprint button so in my case circle on the controller you'll see that you just kind of do a back step and this can be really annoying when you're trying to line up a jump now what you can do instead is if you jump and then hold your sprint button when you press forward you'll be immediately in the sprint um, animation which allows you to jump further than if you weren't in the sprint animation so when you see me lining up for a jump like this one for example you'll often see me do a jump and then you'll see me immediately take off in a sprint so that we can get the get the jump nice and easily like so nice little tip, tip in my opinion we're gonna get past all of this if the big rat hits me i'm dead but we aren't bothering with that at all we just need to get to this and now if we die like it just doesn't even matter at all um, in fact, that's probably going to be favourable. Is there a ladder out? There is. <laughs> Can I survive? Can I survive? We might survive. Yes, we survived. How much health is that? Six. <laughs> um, the way out is still guarded by a load of bats, though. We ain't gonna. We're not making it out of this. Can I, can I fast travel? We can fast travel. Look. Cool. We're going to leave with our loot then. And so now we have. Um, two halves of the deck test medallion. This allows us to travel up a lift that we really shouldn't be traveling up right now, but it's kind of funny in my opinion. However, I think we need to have a better summon before we go there, and to get a better summon, we probably do need to be a little bit high level. Um, so, to finish off this video, just so we've got some extra stuff then, uh, we're actually going to go to this building we can see just here, now that we can actually see our way around a bit. You've got two routes. You can either um, ride... From the grease when you kind of look back to where we came from because we came down this road here you'll see there's kind of like a little ledge and that can take us under the bridge or you can fast travel back uh, to one of these two graces and kind of like go over this way and there's like a there's a doable drop off over here but it's guarded by um i think it's guarded by like in fact no 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 we are gonna go we are gonna go this way going this way is guarded by um like boulders that try and knock you off and that's a real pain in the ass so we're actually gonna go this way we are gonna go this way so then from the grace that we fast travelled, we just make our way around to the side here. The way you start seeing these is where you know you're going the right way. There'll be like a, um, as we go over this way, you should see a hill that kind of leads in the direction we want to go in. We do need to be careful, and you can see kind of how the game almost intends for us to come up that way. A lot of the enemies are facing down the hill up. Um, we ain't about that life. Now we're going to try and aim to stay on this left hand side. In the middle there are a load of like um, pots and stuff that break and they will poison you. Uh, which we just don't want right now. Especially as we have very low health. In addition I should warn you to make sure you come here in the day. At night time there will be a knight's cavalry here. Um, that is pretty tough. It's, it's cheesable. We could definitely cheese it. Although the tools that I would cheese it with we don't have right now. Because you can stand on that branch just there. Um, and attack it with range. However, um, we just probably don't have the, the damage and resources to, to make that reasonable right now. So instead, we're going to come over this way, and we are going to go inside this tower, where I can show you guys where we're going to get a memory slot. Technically, you can buy one of these for a thousand runes from the um, from the merchant in the round table hold, but you really don't need that many of them, because you shouldn't really be carrying too many spells, otherwise it's going to get confusing when you're trying to fight and um so you might as well just take the free ones basically so as you just saw there you kind of want to go towards this um air, air tunnel and then just kind of direct yourself to the roof of this building and then we can get inside this is how we, how we get on in and then we're just going to make our way up to the top there'll be a 
Um, I don't think we can see it right now. There is a trap, and I think it kind of appears in that room. There's like a round, um, like bunch of faces that cast spells. It doesn't draw. It doesn't really drop very much, so I don't recommend fighting that either. So we're just going to leave it. We're going to come in here and grab our loot, and then we're going to get something else because um, we're just kind of in a good position for it. Even though we're at the twenty minute mark, just give me a second. So now that we're back at our grace, um, hop back on torrent. We're going to go up the same airlift, and we're going to take the right. And we should have a, uh, if I remember rightly, I could be wrong. This one isn't marked on the map, so I could be wrong. Yeah, here we go. We have another grave, grave site. So go ahead and collect all of these. These will actually be much bigger runes, I think, because we're in a much higher level area. There should be some big ones here. Here we go, golden rune eight and a golden rune three. So go ahead and take those, use those in whatever you want. You can level your character up a little bit. And there we are. And that closes out this episode. So I think we're going to level up a little bit before I take us off to actually use this Dexter's Medallion. Um, so I'll probably have that pinned in the, in the comment that you can leave this episode technically if you want to. And instead, we're going to clear now then this uh, western part that's kind of just off from the Church of Ella. This is, a, this is literally the beginning part. There's a cave about here, there's a cave about here. And there's a cave about here, as well as a merchant here. So we've got quite a bit of stuff to deal with. I think we should be able to get all that done fairly rapidly in the next episode. And I hope you guys will join me for that.